Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here today in this video I'll be giving you guys some new updates regarding the Ant Station PS3 emulator for Android devices if you have watched my last videos then you know that Ant Station 3 is basically a bootstrap version of RPCS3 emulator in which RPCS3 emulator will be running on an wine based operating system that can be played on your Android devices this version of emulator was currently under development from the developers of Vectras VM emulator and they are now working on a brand new emulator known as Wine we have talked about it in our last Ant Station 3 video. The developer of Vectra Simulator are working on a Steam Emulator, a Wine based emulator known as Winux, and also Ant Station PS3 Emulator for Android. Their brand new Windows Emulator known as Winux is going to be releasing pretty soon, and the next steps that are remaining are, for example, input bridge as well as resolution. Now, below this announcement, the developers have also mentioned that Steam and RPCS3 versions will be available in the stable release of Winux Windows Emulator. Now, as I mentioned, before Vinux is also going to be a bootstrap so it will be an Android application unlike the other Windows emulators where we use Termux well Vinux will also need Termux I believe but instead of the complexity in Termux it will be very simple in Vinux because it is an Android application and it will only run a single Windows emulator which is going to be the Vinux Windows emulator and inside it they will add RPCS3 as well as Steam emulator so they also mentioned another huge announcement regarding Ant Station 3 explaining why they were unable to release Ant Station 3 emulator separately which was going to be a forked version of RPCS3 emulator PC and a port version of that emulator for Android devices. So here is the developer's official message. First, we failed to run Ant Station 3 on Android devices natively through VTerm Ubuntu due to the phones using an older version of OpenGL also because of the ARM CPU architecture that does not allow for such emulations or graphics. Like even the Apple M1 uh, chip failed to run 3D titles in terms of PS3 emulation and it was only able to run 2D because of that issue so imagine how it would be on a phone. So our plan is to port RPCS3 using Vinux which is still being worked on. So Vinux beta might be finished soon but remember we still have a lot to do to implement RPCS3 to it with a better UI and a lot more modifications along with some refinements so expect its beta to be released in 2-3 to three months or so. Hope that answers your questions regarding Ant Station PS3 emulator. So now the developers have confirmed that it will take some time around 2-3 to three months for them to implement the Ant Station PS3 emulator and release it officially inside of Vinux Windows emulator. So this does complicate few things like Ant Station 3 isn't going to be a separate app, it is going to be included in Vinux. Well nonetheless we already knew it from our last video that Ant Station 3 will be running on a wine instead of being natively emulated on Android devices. So those were all the updates regarding the future of PS3 emulation on Android with the help of Ant Station 3. Anyways that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that like button to stay up to date with all the latest news regarding PS3 emulation. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.